Those stories kind of grew up to me and I kind of followed that read more, read more. Then 30 years later, I read this you know, tale of friendship and love and I found out that he had the same feeling, you know, being an outsider and finding, manically wanting to find friends and finding a place to belong. And I think that's something, there's an emotional kind of connection there that I felt was very important to tell this. But I think what it surprised me is the story of, you know, a young man, you know, becoming an orphan, you know, being poor, you know, and then slowly and slowly finding his own voice, finding his own, own imagination and dwelling. And the film, I tried, I always wanted to show how his imagination builds, how he confronts his own imagination, and how he then uses that imagination to build those stories. So I think it reveals this side of his life that we don't know about. I hope it's a journey of inspiration. And, you know, it's a story of friendship, it's a story of love, it's a story of creation, it's a story of imagination, but also inspiration. That I hope, like, still when I watch it, I watch these young men, you know, they uh, being inspired about each other and kind of the love of life and the enjoyment of life. And I, I tend to get that myself. You know, I walk out of the cinema kind of a bit inspired. And that's what I hope that people can take from this film.